I need to change my life. It's so dramatic, I know, and you're probably laughing a little bit because you've said the same thing at 3 a.m. only to wake up and do the same old routine and disappoint yourself. But I'm telling you, I, I actually need to change my life. I cannot continue the way that I have. I know I've just been lazy and letting myself off the hook and there's so much more potential that I could be using to make myself proud if I could just keep some promises to myself. I have been waking up late. I don't have a morning routine. I try to start workout plans, say I'm gonna go to the gym and then let the social anxiety take over and never go. I've been eating fast food for every meal. I do the dishes, but then they never leave the dishwashing machine. My car has been stinky and messy for weeks despite changing my air filters and getting a clean. I've never been more addicted to my phone, ever. I don't have a plan for the day, and I am just so sick of not being confident. And not only that, meanwhile, I'm watching people on social media live their best lives and look like they're thriving and they're happy, and honestly, I've probably been one of those people who looks like that. I'm 21 this year, and I feel like I need to learn some adult things, like, you know, really basic things, like cook clean, have a schedule, stick to a routine. So I'm gonna take you guys on that journey and together we are going to optimize ourselves for real this time. I think confidence comes from saying you're gonna do something and then actually following through. And I have not done that for a very long time. If I simply tell myself, no, no, it's just me. Haley, you're gonna wake up at 7 a.m. tomorrow. And I don't do that. And I don't go to the gym even though I'm gonna tell myself. I have no trust in myself. And that is the worst feeling is to not trust yourself. Like I, this is my brain and my body and I'm the only one who can control it. And when I feel like I'm not even in control of that, it just feels Ugh, just feels crappy. Like I just don't have any confidence because I haven't done anything that I've said I'm going to. So, how are we gonna fix that? We're gonna need a whiteboard for that. Okay, my brain has felt so scattered in thinking of all the ways I wanna improve my life. So, I'm a visual person, I think. I've tried writing, but it's just not the same freedom as being able to erase. Oh, that's it? <laughs> I guess this is how big it is, I didn't really know. <laughs> that's a good size. Okay, let's brain dump all the things that aren't working and that I wanna change and how I'm gonna do that, the systems and habits that I need. Welcome to class. Um, <laughs> listen, I don't even know how to format this, but here are some pillars of life, I guess you could call it. Okay, we've got lifestyle, health, and goals. The reason I don't go to the gym is because I don't have a morning routine. The reason I don't have a morning routine is because I go to bed late. The reason I go to bed late is because I don't wake up early. I don't know, it's all cyclical. Some general life goals, change my last name because I've been married for over a year and haven't done that yet. Bible study daily, upload consistently. Health, cook my own meals. I literally do not know how to cook. You guys are gonna watch me transform into a different human being who knows how to cook her own meal, which means I'm gonna be a grocery shopper, <laughs> like a basic human thing. I'm gonna have a workout routine. And then subsectors of that, going on walks, buying a juicer, wearing cute matching workout sets. So fun, mm, I can see the lifestyle now. Lifestyle, wake up early, do adventurous things in my own city. Socialize, meet new people, go out of my comfort zone, subsectors of this could be going on hikes or going to the lake. And this one is huge, learning how to clean. And I'm talking like deep, deep clean. But we're gonna do these things sustainably, slowly, over time, make progress. And I'm so excited, guys. We're gonna, it's just time to live. Show appreciation for my life by living it. Like I wanna do these things out of appreciation, not out of like hating myself and needing to do these and change and change and change. Ugh. Okay, I've heard so many things about the book Atomic Habits, and obviously I need some help with habits, so I'm gonna buy Atomic Habits. <laughs> Everyone who reads it says it's life-changing and we need a life change, so let me go Let me go grab this book, and it'll be a lot of motivation to kick off this life change as well as actually give me some information to share with you guys, so. Today is gonna be a huge life reset and I'm so excited. I'm actually setting up an Aura ring right now. If you've heard of those, they're like Apple watches, but a ring kind of. I got my Aura ring on. I did not buy this. I got sent this through Ryan, actually. These are very expensive. It's basically an Apple watch, but on your finger so that the technology is expensive, but it tracks your sleep, your steps, heart rate, I think. So I'm gonna try it out. It's a little loose on me, but I really want to try it out because I'm in my fitness era. But yeah, today is a get my life together day. So we're gonna start with getting a coffee and going on a walk, and then I need to go grocery shopping. Chicken, rice. <laughs> Cheers, love. Cheers. I'm trying to wear my um, athleisure, stay-at-home mom outfit. Yeah, it's definitely giving mom, athletic mom vibe. <laughs> 
We've been walking a mile and a half, and the entire time I've thought that a porta potty would be right around the corner, but it hasn't been. So my butt ladder, butt ladder, butt ladder. <laughs> my bladder is at a dull ache right now. Dull ache. <laughs> I just did my first workout alone. I went to the gym alone. And here's how it went, right? I slept in, and so I was like, okay, I just need to tell myself I'm gonna start small. Do 20 minutes of the stair stepper, but do it for a week straight because that's way better than doing a random workout one time and then quitting. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go to the gym by myself. I'm not gonna let myself sit in the car because if I sit in the car, I'm gonna drive home. I've done that like multiple times. I got here, I parked, I immediately start turning off the car so I can leave. It worked. I got into the gym. There's only one stair stepper at this gym. It's like super tiny, which is why I love it. But someone was on the stair stepper. So I was like, okay, frick, I'm gonna walk to like the private section where you can do dumbbells. There was a dude in that space. And the space is so small that if there's like one guy, it's like, it feels claustrophobic already. So I was like, okay. I start panicking. I start like connecting my headphones to Bluetooth. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna like put these on, look at my phone, like figure out what I'm gonna do. So the squat racks were pretty open. So I was like, okay, just go to the squat rack. I'll just do some hip thrusts because I know how to do them and I feel comfortable doing them. I was like, I'll just do these until the stair steppers open. So I did about four sets of 10 hip thrusts, which is pretty good. Got some weightlifting in there and then the stair stepper was open. So I did that on level six for 17 minutes. I was really tired. I couldn't get through it. That's a quote unquote small workout. But hey, what really is a full size workout? Like any workout is a workout. So I'm just glad that I started somewhere. And most of all that I overcame my fear of the gym because the second I went in, made eye contact with the guy at the desk and I said, hello, instantly my mood was boosted because I had overcome something thing that was previously like so daunting in my brain and I know it sounds so stupid and so small but just that tiny little thing like boosted my confidence and I feel proud of myself like I overcame something and I have not felt that feeling for so long so now I'm gonna go to the grocery store stay on a roll that's a pretty good start I'm proud of myself right now Okay, it's a little later in the day. I'm kind of having an allergy attack, but one of my goals has been to get involved in my community, go outside my comfort zone and meet new people. So my friend Card and I signed up for a women's Bible study at our church. So I'm gonna be meeting new people today. I don't really know how it's gonna be structured, but I am so excited. I have not been involved in like a club or group or meeting like this in my adult years, because obviously you have so many opportunities to do that in high school and college. But then when you're an adult, you kind of just have to like seek it out for yourself like whether it's uh if you take up climbing or joining a soccer team or something. I don't really I don't really even know the extent of like what adults can join and I'm so excited so I think I'm gonna try to curl my hair put on some makeup Ugh, I really hope this allergy attack goes away by the time I go there because it is not fun to socialize when you're having an allergy attack so. I don't understand why you're thinking of me. These are all from Elwood Clothing, who I actually bought from first because of a TikTok I saw. And then they DM'd me and they sent me clothes. Ooh, so we have this set. Oh my gosh. Cute. I don't have red college feeling sweatpants. I don't know why I really wanted that. The matching crew. So cute. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's kind of cute with my outfit today. Should I wear it? So update on how last night went. It was so fun. It was like a class setting where you're learning. Whoa, it's like tight on the bottom. Got like an elastic at the bottom. Kind of makes sense though. Okay, well my shirt is ginormous, so it looked like a bomb pop. Okay, anyways, I had my table and I had Karin next to me. So that was fun. And everyone at our table was probably like 40 and had kids, but I don't mind that at all. I'm actually very excited to just know more of the people at my church and to learn from them because they've been alive longer than me, which probably means they're a bit wiser than me or a lot more wiser than me. I'm so glad that I went. I was looking at my aura ring to see if my heart rate went up when I was having a social interaction and I think it did. So I'm proud of our progress already with these small wins. If you guys want to go on this journey with me, journal some things that you want to do too and let's just tackle this together. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!